Go. By blood, the belly of two receptors, propano Lord, and people with asthma produce bronchoconstriction. That means it's no good to give this medication to people who have asthma. Like imagine you have pneumonia and you cannot breathe and then you have hypertension. And then they give you something for, 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 for the pneumonia. And then the first thing they're supposed to talk to you is to drink some better block. Yes, not drink it right now. Because you do more bronchoconstriction and you with pneumonia really have problem to breathe. Do you understand that? Yeah. All right. Produce basal completion and redo a glycogenolysis. <coughs> I like this thing here. We have to be really assisted to pay a lot of money. Pharmacokinetic, this guy is a liposoluble because so that can pass the plasma membrane, can go to the brain and produce depression. That's why you cannot give people who have those problems. It's also eliminated by the kidney. Uh -huh, I like this thing. That was a pharmacokinetic, can go to the brain, propanoloid is metabolized and delivered and is stressed by the urine. Therapeutic use, they can use to people who have hypertension like me, who are not like it because it produce impotence. Angina pectoris, <laughs> cardiodyrrhythmia, and myocardial infarction. When is going to be good for people who have myocardial infarction? Because they decrease, decrease the mortality. If you get soon and they are the higher, the myocardial infarction, that decrease the chance to these people die for higher time. And also decrease the chance of another infarction to happen. That's the good about better blood. Prevent you to die higher time and prevent you to die because they higher time. That's why I have it in my house. I mean, when I look where I got chest pain, I get one. See? A best effect of this guy, bradykai. Everybody knows the mechanism of bradykai. Because it decreases the high rate and decreases the velocity of the conduction. Get to know. Uh, another thing is high block by decreasing <laughs> the conduction to the AB nodes. High failure because it suppresses the myocardial contractility and can result in high failure. I mean, if people have high failure, you're not supposed to use. If you use those medications, you have to teach the patient about what the sign and symptom of high failure are. Cool? I mean, this class, they have to repeat this class over next year. Rebound cardio recitation. We are not a professor. So this is not good for me. No more. Wow. It's too much to wait for that. If you withdraw too quick, can produce rebound, and the rebound is going to produce angina pectoris and also produce tachycardia. And the, and, the, and the central nervous system, if they power the central nervous system, this block can produce depression, nightmare, and hallucination because this is a contraindication to use this block to people who have depression. No use it. And the neonatal produce bradycardia, respiratory arrest, and hypoglycemia. You have to watch close. Three questions. Contraindication. People who have anaphylactic shock, allergy, they cannot use propanol. Why? Because you use propanol and you try to use epinephrine. The propanol oil is going to block the action of epinephrine. Those people cannot be used propanol oil. Uh -huh. So don't use a beta selecting one. Yes, yes. Okay. To diabetic, because they inhibit the glycogenolysis, this guy can go to hypoglycemia. And the hypoglycemia going to affect the tachycardia, yes or no? Yeah. Then this guy is going to block the tachycardia. And if people treat it, they don't have no hypoglycemia. Then you have to look, teaching to them about another sign and symptom of hypoglycemia.
Oh, it's well if we go right now here, because we don't have no money. And I see a lot of people with the lip dry. Now me, they are in hypoglycemia right now. No, you may you give them the drink, and I show you in the cafeteria, get you. Did you know? You have? Not you, really, huh? 